So how do you grow with hydroponics? What is Cracky, Deep Water Culture, DWC, NFT, or Ebb and Flow, or Aeroponics, or Aquaponics? All these terms can be confusing for the first time hydroponic grower. So what are these things? We're gonna talk about that today and how to grow with hydroponics. Hello, I'm Christy with GreenLivingOffGrid.com. And I'm out here in my greenhouse where I have an aquaponics system. What is aquaponics? Well, aquaponics is a method of growing plants in the nutrient-rich water that comes from fish. I have here a fish tank on one side, on each side of my greenhouse, and each fish tank services the plants in the upper shelf above the fish tank. And so basically with aquaponics, the fish water runs into the grow beds. The grow beds with the plants take out some of the nitrates that develop in the fish water and help to purify the fish water so that when it flows back into the fish tank, it provides a more clean source of water for the fish. So aquaponics is the method of growing plants in nutrient-rich fish water. Hydroponics, utilizes the same kind of different types of systems but same kind of method of growing but what it does is you'll add some nutrients to it so instead of using fish water you'll use usually typically different hydroponic fertilizer formulas now these are different than the kinds of fertilizers you get in like a garden store for your garden beds these fertilizers for hydroponics are unique because they not only provide fertilizing nutrients but also the micronutrients that you don't get in the water naturally. So we add those kinds of nutrients, those micronutrients to the fertilizers for hydroponics. So that is what makes hydroponics different from aquaponics. Aquaponics is growing with fish. Hydroponics is growing with nutrient rich, specially formulated fertilizers to be able to add directly to pure water to be able to grow your plants. Now let's talk about some of these other terms. What is deep water culture? Well, deep water culture is a form of hydroponics where you take a aerated reserve like what I have here where my tomato plant is growing in a bucket. I put some water in there and I add a aeration grid and uh, something like this that I build in my deep water culture system. You could also put air stones in there and then I add my hydroponic fertilizer nutrients to be able to grow in deep water culture. Now deep water culture is really great for growing plants. Because of the added aeration to the water, you can get more of your larger plants able to grow fruit and vegetables really well. So like here, I do a lot of tomatoes in deep water culture. Now cracky, what is cracky hydroponics? Cracky hydroponics is something like a tub or a tray like this in which you put a net pot you put your water reserve in there, you add your nutrients, your hydroponic nutrients. And it's cr the reason it's called cracky is because you do not add aeration to this water reserve. You just set your plants in the net pot. You set your water level at just below the net pot. So there's a little bit of an air gap as the plant grows. And so that provides enough air for some of the plants that you can grow in hydroponics. Now, there are some plants that this is not enough air, even with a little air gap, you have to add uh, more aeration. And so that's why we do the deep water culture units with an aeration grid or air stones to be able to provide that added aeration that they need. And usually your larger plants do better in an aerated reserve than in a cracky hydroponic setup. Now, what about NFT, ebb and flow, aeroponics? Well, what does NFT stand for? NFT is nutrient film technology. And basically all that is, is it's a source of hydroponic nutrients that flow continuously through a system. And so an NFT could be something like this hydro grow tower I have here in the back. This hydroponics grow tower made with Mr. Stacky Trace has a pump in the bottom that flows the water at the top and just flows right out from the top down back into the water reserve continuously. So nutrient film technology would be something similar where the water continuously flows through the system. Now, 
You could do something like this, uh, an NFT system with a hydro tower, or you could also do something like ebb and flow. An ebb and flow could be done with something like this, where the water flows in, but you set it on a timer. So the difference between NFT hydroponics and ebb and flow hydroponics is that unlike NFT, which continuously flows without stopping, an ebb and flow system flows the water in, then you have it pause with a timer and the water flows out and then you add the water back in. Now, quite often, ebb and flow is done in uh, flood and drain bed systems in aquaponics. I don't have those systems because they're more complicated to build because you have to use a bell siphon to build an ebb and flow aquaponics system. So what I use is I use more of the NFT uh, combination with kind of cracky grow trays for my aquaponics. But uh, with uh, NFT, it continuously flows. In my aquaponics system, I flow the water in, then I pause it, give it time to flow back into the sump tank and the fish tank, and then I flow it back in. So I use more of an ebb and flow uh, combination with cracky grow trays in my aquaponics. So the difference between NFT and ebb and flow is basically this, that the nutrient water, whether it's hydroponic nutrients or aquaponics, continuously flows with NFT, with nutrient film technology, whereas in ebb and flow, it just flows in, pauses, the water flows out, and then the pump turns on again and flows the water back in. I do kind of an ebb and flow setup usually when I grow in my hydro towers because I find that if I have it flowing continuously in NFT, the plants can tend to get root rot in a system like this. It can be uh, too much water for the plants. So it all depends on what you're growing. But some plants need to have that break and that water running out, drying the roots a little bit more before you run the water back in. So ebb and flow is really good for that. Now let's talk about aeroponics. What is aeroponics? Aeroponics is a hybrid form of hydroponics that utilizes sprayers that spray the nutrients directly on to your roots. Now it could be sprayers or it could be misters, but aeroponics is hybrid because it uses much more air to water ratio to grow your plants. And typically with aeroponics, which is the unit I have here, the second unit, here in this lineup of systems. What I like about aeroponics is it's really good for those plants that need to have more air to be able to grow, air on their roots. And I find my herbs sometimes don't do well with cracky or my aquaponic system, but they do great in aeroponics because they get much more air to water oxygen ratio. And so those roots just grow really well with my sprayer set up in my low pressure aeroponics system. So that is basically how hydroponics works, how to grow with hydroponics. You could decide what kind of setup you want to do, whether it's cracky, whether it's deep water culture, whether it's aeroponics, whether it's a grow tower with ebb and flow or NFT technology. And it is really fun to be able to grow because you can grow just about anything with hydroponics or aquaponics, depending on your space and the location where you're growing and the kinds of systems you decide to develop. So in my video courses, I talk about how to build each of these systems. In the simple hydroponics course, we go through the cracky trays, how to set these up, exactly how much nutrients you need to grow like lettuce and spinach, which does really well with cracky. And in my uh, cracky system, I also teach you how to make a microgreens garden that you would place within this four gallon cracky tray. You build a, a tray unit with a water reserve that you can grow your microgreens in. And so that's what we cover in simple hydroponics. In our advanced hydroponics course, I teach you how to do a deep water culture unit, a aeroponics unit, and a hydro tower like you see here with NFT and ebb and flow technology. So check out our video courses at greenlivingoffgrid.com and you can get started with growing today. Another thing that we have in our, on our website is a hydroponics blog and an aquaponics blog where we talk about different kinds of plants and what you can grow in each of these systems. And if you check out our aquaponics video courses, that will teach you exactly how to build a system like we have here in the greenhouse with kind of a cracky combination with 
ebb and flow and cracky trays. And then also in our upper shelf of our greenhouse, we have tomatoes growing in deep water culture bins. And so I show you how to hook all those up and connect them together in a greenhouse aquaponics slash hydroponics system, just like I have here. So if you are interested in building something you see here in this greenhouse, check out our aquaponics video courses as well. And last but not least, if you're getting started with aquaponics or you're getting started with hydroponics, let me encourage you to download our free PDF guides on quick start hydroponics, getting started with hydroponics, how to avoid the five most common mistakes. And we also have a quick start guide for aquaponics, how to avoid the five most common mistakes people make when they're designing an aquaponics system. So those free PDF guides are on our website, on our homepage, and you could just click that link below and just enter your email address and we'll send those quick start guides to you over your email. Thanks again for watching. As always, don't forget to check us out at greenlivingoffgrid.com and happy growing everyone. I'll see you in our next video.